guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first vlog of 2021. So I did a survey on YouTube to see what you guys would most like to see in the upcoming new year and 50% of you said vlogs. <laughs> so I have to make sure I get vlogs in as much as I possibly can. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me this week as I kind of put the house back together because we still have our tree up. We have a live tree so it is not looking very good right now and the house is completely trashed because i basically spent all of christmas break laying around reading eating cookies and chocolate and not really getting very much of anything done which was fine and i needed it because the holiday season for our family was a little bit of a challenge this year obviously as it was for so many of us but on christmas eve we had a death in the family so we had a wake and a funeral and um my cat has been sick so i had some sleepless nights up with her vomiting and things like that so it just the holiday season was really a challenge this year even though we still had some great family memories and we were able to do some really nice things i needed a break so I took a break <laughs> and the house paid for it dearly and there will be a lot of catching up to do this week but I will bring you guys along with me this week as much as I can and let's do this is this not the saddest looking tree that you have ever seen <laughs> it has just given up we need to take everything off and get it to the curb because it is definitely a fire hazard If you guys ever watched the video that I made a couple of years ago about getting my kids an ornament to signify the previous year. <laughs> so for 2020 I got each of them this and I like it because it pretty much says it all. I usually have something very specific to each child and I include a little note about their year and all the things that they've accomplished and this year I just felt like <laughs> This was relevant. So this is the ornament that is going in their Christmas ornament memory box for 2020. So the tree is out of the house and we are putting the Peloton bike in its place because if you guys have been following my vlogs where we keep it, it wasn't working out because with the way that the screen for the Peloton bike is very temperamental to cold weather, the room that it's in gets rather cold. So we had to relocate it. If I can accomplish grocery shopping in addition to getting the tree out of the house I think that's pretty good for one day and I'll focus the rest of the week on just getting the house back in order so now we are headed to the grocery store my husband's going to help me out this time which is nice but I have no plan I don't have a list I only have a couple of ideas for things to make for dinner this week so it's gonna be interesting let's see what I come back with we're back from the grocery store and I'm just having a snack because I didn't even have lunch today so I'm just having peanut butter and jelly on some graham crackers using up the rest of my Christmas napkins and plates and now I'm doing something a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm going to fill in the dinners that I've already purchased and just kind of think of what I have and what I can put together so this is a little twist on my normal meal planning of the week. Also, I've been using pencils a lot lately to plan with <laughs> because I just don't know if things are going to change because things have been changing a lot lately. The Peloton bike is all set up in here. I think it's a good fit in this room. And we have the fire going right now, which is really nice. Let me know if any of you guys have this bike, if you can recommend a fun class to take that is super, super easy because I want to start getting involved in like a live class. I feel I'll I feel like I'll be more inspired that way. So that's the plan for the upcoming new year. We have some dinner prep going on here. Jim is making some fillets in the sous vide. And then I am making asparagus and sweet potatoes to go along with that. I just put salt, pepper, and garlic powder on the asparagus. And I'm going to have a glass of Rufino. This is my favorite wine, but lately, I really can't drink anything at all. Everything is just <laughs> making me sick but I've usually done pretty good with this particular wine. It's the Chianti Classico and it's the Reserve. So I don't know, it's always done me well. So I'm gonna have a glass of that with dinner and that is what we're having tonight.
Okay guys, so that's going to be it for tonight. I hope that you enjoyed coming along even though it was kind of a short day, but I have a lot more to share this week. So hopefully you will enjoy coming along with me while I try to get the chaos of this house and my life back in some type of order for the new year. Hey guys, so it is Monday and I started off my day doing my first like legit yoga workout. So typically in the morning I do a five to 10 minute kind of like a yoga stretch. And lately I've been doing my own thing, just like trying to get in five to 10 minutes, just kind of doing what feels good. But I decided to sign up for yoga with Adrienne's 30 day, I think it's called breath or breathe program that she has for January. And I was a little bit discouraged because the workouts are longer than I like to commit to in the morning. But I decided to start my morning with coffee and then do yoga because I just feel like I really want coffee when I wake up and I can't wait for a half an hour or 40 minutes. <laughs> so that worked out well. But also I pulled a muscle in my neck. <laughs> so that's why my hair is up because I have like Bengay on my neck right now. And I have been packing away Christmas. I am probably 75% done at this point, And I don't know if I'm gonna finish the rest today because I just don't like doing it. It's just not a lot of fun. I have been listening to an Audible. I'm listening to the Thursday Murder Club and I keep losing focus. So I'm probably going to have to listen to it again. But anyway, that is what I have been up to this Monday morning. So this is where I'm at so far. I'm just starting to fill bins like I have so many lids and they don't match the bins and that's just been an ongoing struggle for me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm trying to figure it out and I'm just kind of going room by room and packing things away. Everything is so dusty and messy right now. Once I'm done, I'm going to have to give everything a really good cleaning because there were so many things on the mantles and with the fire constantly going, things got really dusty. So I'll have to take care of that. Really, I guess the only thing still waiting for my attention <laughs> is this area here, which is typically my first thing to decorate because I think it's so pretty. But right now, it's just a big old mess and that'll be the last of it. I still need to do my office, but I'm really enjoying the way my office looks with the Christmas decor. So I might give that a little bit longer. Over the holiday break, I checked my P.O. box and I had so many more Christmas cards. So guys, I'm sorry for the delay in receiving these, but it was so much fun to open them. And I d I've seen people share that on their YouTube videos. I'm not comfortable doing that. I feel like it's personal and a lot of these are family photos and I just don't know necessarily that people want their kids and stuff out there. So I'm not gonna share it, but I was excited because this is by air mail and it's all the way from England and I love how it says royal mail like it just seems so fancy <laughs> but anyway I am still collecting recipes from you guys so if anyone wants to mail me a recipe I am going to be trying out subscriber recipes it can be a main dish an appetizer or a dessert guys so I did receive a couple in here and I'm putting them together because I think that's going to be a really fun video to share here's one that looks really good it is a mango salsa so I'm definitely going to be giving this a try and thank you so much to those of you who have sent me beautiful cards and such wonderful notes it just it made my holiday so so happy especially with everything going on to to receive your beautiful cards with pictures of your families and also with really kind notes it just really really made everything so much brighter so I just wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate that and Starbucks gift cards <laughs> are also very much appreciated. Look at how cute this is. This is from my friend Christine and look at how she put the little Disney stickers on it. <laughs> Love it and I'm so excited to go get some Starbucks now today. For lunch today I'm just having a grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup but I need to figure out a new book to read because I finished my book last night. I got this book cart for Christmas, which I'm loving because it's a great way to be able to coordinate all of my books for the upcoming months. And I was able to find a purpose for this picture that I received in my Once Upon a Book Club box. So I'm trying to categorize this is January, February, 
and March. I do middle grade March. So these are all children's books, but this is going to change and fluctuate <laughs> as I change my mind about what I'm going to be reading or not reading. And last night I finished The Book Lover by Marianne McFadden, which was really good. It was about um, somebody who owns a bookstore, which has always been a dream of mine, and also about somebody who writes books and their relationship with each other. And it, it was just really, really a great story. So now I don't know if I want to read The Vanishing Half, Time and Again, which is a time travel book, which I love those, but I kind of want to read People Like Her. I might read this because I've been really thinking about this one a lot lately. So let's get this one started. I just got back from a walk with the dogs. Just took them out for a little while. It's actually really hot. I'm getting hot. But do you guys see this sweatshirt? I don't think I showed you guys this yet. It is so cute. This is from American Eagle and it's that really nice fleecy warm material that I like and it has the pockets like the kangaroo pockets. I love this sweatshirt so much. <laughs> I got it for Christmas and I've been wearing it all the time, but now I'm getting really hot, so I think I'm gonna be taking it off. Anyway, I have to take Madison to the dermatologist. If you guys remember a while back, she had a skin condition and they took biopsies and things, and so far everything is fine. So we're just going for like a follow-up appointment this afternoon, and that's what we have going on. I was taking a picture of these conversation hearts because I'm doing a contest on my Patreon channel. It is so much fun this month. I am so excited for all of the things we're doing, but um, for our book club, I'm doing a contest. Hi, princess. <laughs> and if you guess how many conversation hearts are in here, sorry for the cat tail in the way. If you guess how many conversation hearts are in here, then you win a copy of the book and I'll be sending it out to whichever patron guesses the closest. So I'm excited for that and for our live stream that's coming up. You guys can always check me out on Patreon if you would like to. I'm not gonna lie, it is a lot of fun over there. I got this Snickers peanut brownie in my stocking and obviously it's open because I ate most of it already. <laughs> but it's really good. Sometimes it's weird when like very traditional basic candy companies try to change up their product and Snickers is my favorite so when they try to make it something different I usually don't like it but this is actually really good and I need to redo my nails. Once the Christmas decorations are out of the house. I shouldn't say out of the house once they're in the basement. I have to take some time to get the Christmas decorations off of my nails. All right, so I did manage to clear most of this stuff out. I still have some nutcrackers and things lingering, but I got all of that into the basement and I am collecting lots of bins that I am hoping my husband's going to help me also put down in the basement because my back is shot. <laughs> I've been putting things in the basement and bringing up containers and I'm just kind of over it. And I'm just having a cup of tea, but if you guys didn't know, I have a Teespring shop, which is always linked below. And this is one of my favorite items that I have in my shop. It's this Jen's Happy Home coffee mug. So if you guys are interested, I have lots of stuff over there worth checking out, but this coffee mug has held up really well. So do you guys remember how I was telling you I have really been having serious issues with drinking wine. Sometimes it's even just one glass and I get really sick, like migraine. Sometimes I'm in bed for a day or two afterwards. Ridiculous. Well, I got this for Christmas. It actually just came in the mail and it is No More Wine Headaches, The Wave Wine Purifier and Aerator. So. This is interesting. There's like this little wand that you put in your drink and you just swirl it around for a couple of minutes and it takes out all of the, I think it says the histamines. What is the stuff that makes you feel sick? There's out histamines and sulfites without adding anything to the wine. So these are the little stirrers. I guess they're like one time use because they come in packets. This is a packet of 10 and this is a packet of four. And this one is for an entire bottle of wine. Anyway, it's interesting. And if it works, I think it's something <laughs> I will invest in because it would be really nice to be able to have a glass of wine or two without worrying about feeling horrible afterwards. My friend Grace sent me these Dashing Diva nail strips. I've been really curious about them. I've been using Color Street, as you guys probably already know. And I am anxious to give these a try, so this is going to be my next color and plus they're very appropriate for this time of year i love this like really deep red color so we'll see how it goes 
She also just told me that they sell them at Target. And if it works out well, that's gonna be super convenient because then I don't need to send away for it. I can just go to Target and pick them up. One more reason to do a Target run. <laughs> Okay guys, that's gonna be it for my Monday. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along. I'm having fun doing this again. I didn't even have that long of a break, but it's been fun just sharing little bits and pieces of my day with you guys. So I hope that you're going to enjoy it when I finally upload and edit and get it all out there. And that's it. I am going to take a bath and get ready for bed and read a book. <laughs> that all sounds delightful right now. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, January 5th. It's already lunchtime. I had a really busy but productive morning. Disney shared a promo this morning, so I was able to get online first thing in the morning, bright and early, and apply those promos to all of my clients, actually. And it was exciting because I saved anywhere from $200 to $2,000 on existing reservations, so I had some very happy clients this morning. So that all went really well, but it did take up all of my morning, and I still have some more work to do with that, but I just wanted to pop in and say hi. I'm gonna get some lunch right now, and I'm going to finish some more Mickey World Travel paperwork, and then finish packing away Christmas. So I did my nails last night with that Dashing Diva nail polish strips that a friend of mine sent to me, and I'm not sure yet how I like it. I do like the idea that apparently you just peel this right off and it's supposed to last about two weeks, so the peeling off option is pretty cool, but I don't know if you guys can see, there's definitely some rippling at the edges, and it is picking up little pieces of just like flint and thread and just like any little random things because it's a little bit sticky on the end even though I keep filing it down so I don't know we'll see how it holds up also it's my first time doing it so I might be able to do a better application next time but I do like that it's shiny it kind of looks like a gel polish I just have to see how long it actually adheres for but I do love the color and I don't think it looks really too bad. I mean, at a glance, you're not going to see those little ripples, but I know they're there. So we'll see how it goes. I just finished putting away all of the Christmas stuff throughout the house. So this is the last thing that I have left. So I might as well just tackle it. Okay, so this feels a little better. I have all the Christmas stuff out, but my office is still pretty cluttered because I have a lot going on right now so if you guys watched my christmas vlog i got a bookshelf for christmas which is downstairs so i'm going to be relocating a lot of these books these are all the books that i read in 2020 so i took them all off my shelf and i'm not putting them back yet because obviously i'm going to be shifting things and moving things around so what's the sense in putting them back right now and then for my patreon live stream tomorrow I'm going to be doing a huge unboxing from a book haul that I have. So I have book of the month, thrift book, book depository, Amazon, a lot going on there. And one of those books is going to be the book for the giveaway. So there's just some stuff going on. But once I am done with my live stream and I catch up around the house, I'm going to start relocating some of these books. So I'm excited for that project. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys along for that. So as I was cleaning up and trying to get Christmas stuff out of my office, the cat starts throwing up again. So I think we're going to be going back to the vet tomorrow. I don't know what is going on with her. It's like she'll be sick for a couple of days and then she seems fine and now she's getting sick again. So I think we're gonna be going back in for more blood work and not looking forward to that. So thanks to you guys, I had a small credit at Plum Paper and I decided to buy a notebook. So I figured I would do an unboxing for you guys. Take a look at it, I'm excited. Usually for my YouTube content, I like to have like a separate notebook to keep all of my ideas in and show you the one that I selected because you can customize them. So I always have the option of sending you guys a promo code, but you need to email me and I will have Plum Paper email you the promo code, but if they have your email address for any reason, if you've ever given it to them, I can't give you guys the promo code. So just keep that in mind. This is so pretty. 
This is actually a lot bigger than I anticipated it would be. I don't know why. I mean, I did order from measurements, but in my mind, it was not quite this large. So I had these protector pages put on. They're these heavy duty plastic sheets. And it says, wherever life plants you bloom with grace. And I thought that was appropriate. My word of the year, like New Year's resolution is grow. So I just want to see growth in a lot of things in my life. And this whole like bloom where you're planted idea, I just, I love it. And then at the bottom, I have my name. Like, let's take a look inside. Okay, so here is the protector page. This page actually is really nice. I don't think it really needs a protector page. And then you can put your name and information at the bottom. Oh wow, this is way more than I thought it was gonna be. Has all the months where you can jot down things and then ideas, plans, goals, and then a notebook. Nice. Oh, in the back, look at this. There's even like a slip page in the back, like a little folder. Wow, this is, oh, what's this? This is so cool. Okay, so this is like a page protector so you could slip documents in here. Oh my gosh, this is really nice. Wow, what a beautifully done notebook. <laughs> so that's my plum paper planner notebook for 2021. Love it. Okay, so everything is gone. In the dining room, all of the village is put away. We are good. Living room, everything is put away. What I am doing is I have boxes all over, all over the house right now, which is kind of driving me crazy, but also I am getting rid of stuff and just having boxes in every room so that I can randomly pack things away for donation is working out really good for me. So that's been going on too. And since I was busy all day doing Binky World travel work and packing away Christmas, I did not have any time to take care of all the dishes in the kitchen. So <laughs> I'm about to make dinner and I'm gonna need to deal with this. Okay, for dinner, I am trying this oven ready roaster. So basically what you do is preheat the oven to 400. I'm gonna take the chicken out of this bag and it's in some type of a roasting bag. It's all prepped and ready to go, it's seasoned and you just throw it in the pan and throw it in the oven so that sounds good to me <laughs> and then i'm going to be making some stuffing with that and green beans and that's going to be dinner tonight okay guys so that's going to be it for today i actually started editing today and the video is already 21 minutes long and it's only tuesday so i don't know <laughs> what to do I'm better off just doing day in the life vlogs because when I'm vlogging I am just full on in it. I'm always wanting to share things and it's hard to make it not two hours long. So I'll try to shorten it up a little bit as best as I can but hopefully it won't be too too bad for you guys. Hopefully you're still watching and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday morning and I actually have a pretty busy day planned. I'm going to be running errands today. We're actually gonna return some Christmas gifts. I wanted to wait until well after Christmas to do any returns because I am not up for being around a lot of people with COVID, obviously. So I figure on a Wednesday morning and we're quite a bit after Christmas now would be an appropriate time. And if the stores are crowded, I just leave and try again another day. So I have a pretty full agenda and I think I want to record for you guys, like this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, a bookstore haul tour. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it, but basically <laughs> going to some bookstores and, and bringing you guys along and just I don't know I've been seeing it and enjoying watching it all over YouTube and I thought it'd be something fun to share I want to do like a larger bookstore but then I also want to do like a privately owned indie shop because those are really the bookstores I most enjoy going to but they are also harder to find so yeah that's kind of in the back of my mind I might go to one today we'll see how the day plays out it's really sunny and nice out so that's good all right, I have to stop talking and get some stuff done. So I've been in my office paying bills and I hear Madison in the other room practicing her recorder. So she has a little school break and she's gonna show you guys what she learned today.
Okay, our first stop was Ulta. We had some returns to make there. And I ended up picking up another one of these Dashing Diva gloss nail polish strips. So, I don't know, I wanna give it another try. And I really liked these colors and it was only $7.99. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So we will give it another attempt once these are done. And then I got, sorry, it's bumpy. <laughs> More of these cotton makeup remover pads that I use. I completely ran out the other day. And finally, I have some face moisturizer. This was on sale half off today. They're doing like a deal a day in January. And I really needed some face moisturizer. So this is the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. Yeah, so that's everything that I got today so far. Okay, so we are back from shopping and returning things. You guys will have to watch my bookstore vlog if you want to see the books that I got because that's going to be a whole nother vlog and this is stuff Emily got because I didn't get anything <laughs> so I thought I'd show you that this is one of my favorite fragrances at Bath and Body Works it's the rose water and ivy I love this she got the lotion these were all 75% off and then she got this midnight bath and body works men's spray so that was for her boyfriend I believe and then she got another lotion it's the coco shea coconut and i think it's really cute packaging and then from ulta we got this frizz defense i don't know if it's like a blow dryer but it's a brush it's a hot air brush and the regular price was 59 dollars, and it was half off so i'm curious to see how she makes out with that so i missed a lot being out today doing returns and things the world is going crazy right now and I don't talk politics on my channel. I don't even want to go there, but there is some insanity going on right now at our nation's capital and it is frightening. So yeah, that, that's what I'm just trying to absorb right now. I'm watching the news and I'm reading some stuff online and I just cannot even believe what I am seeing. So me and Madison are doing something very exciting. We have not yet used our hot cocoa bombs and apparently one of these makes about 12 ounces. So I think for us each to have a six ounce cup will be just fine. And I'm going to warm up the milk, drop this in and try the hot cocoa bombs for the very first time. And we have our cute Harry Potter mugs here all ready to go. Up, like this, just drop it in. And then I guess it melts away. It just popped open. And look, there's little marshmallows inside. Ooh. Nice. This is fun. Oh, I'm excited. This looks good. That looks good. cream we have sadly we ran out of whipped cream but they look good Madison has a backup plan marshmallows nice mmm mmm yes I'm only gonna have hot cocoa bombs for hot chocolate for the rest of my life it is so good <laughs> okay guys so that's gonna be it for today you can see I still have some laundry to do but I was out most of the day today and now I have to get ready for my patreon live stream so I'm gonna be doing that until a little bit later on tonight so I just want to wrap it up now I will see you guys tomorrow morning good morning guys it is actually already almost lunchtime I've been busy I'm doing some training for Universal this morning I don't know if you guys are aware but I also can book Universal Studios trips Universal Islands of Adventure Volcano Bay I have a whole playlist about um, all of like the resorts and things that I've toured over there so you guys can check that out I'll leave it above but <laughs> I stepped out of my office to go get a cup of coffee and do you see what I have over here and it took me a minute to realize I already packed away my Christmas stuff the other day. Why, why is the tree back? It's Emily's white Christmas tree back again. Do you guys remember? <laughs> I don't know if you've been following any of my vlogs in the past, but we had this whole thing where last Christmas she wouldn't put her tree away. So she kept hiding it in random places. I would find it like in a kitchen cabinet or 
behind a piece of furniture and it was an ongoing thing and this went on until Easter time so at Easter time I decorated it with Easter eggs and put it in her room and <laughs> It's back so I don't know if I should hide it in her room or just pack it away in the basement I don't know you guys let me know in the comments below how long should I let this thing go on for lunch today I'm having my leftover chipotle <laughs> hopefully I'm saying it right and I just cut up a half of avocado and put it on top I really just have a lot a lot going on today my desk is a mess you can see my to-do list here is ever growing it's getting very big so lots going on and I am going to take a quick lunch break I got this pop socket I know you guys may have already seen it on my Amazon wish list but isn't that cute my weekend is booked with Bell yeah I got it in the mail the other day I used a gift card that I had to buy it for myself so <laughs> it was a very exciting purchase this week it's the new year and I should be being extra healthy, but I'm still working through my stocking stuffers. <laughs> and today's Snickers of the day is the white chocolate Snickers. The other day I had the um, brownies and you can see at least I'm not eating it all at one sitting. So I ate this half yesterday and now I'm going to eat this half. So I am pacing myself. I don't like this as much as I liked the um, brownie Snickers though. It's okay, I mean, it's still edible. I'll, I'll choke it down, I'll, I'll do what I need to do. <laughs> but the brownie one was way better. The peanut butter one is pretty good. The traditional Snickers though is my favorite. And this book is freaking me out, especially being really involved in social media with YouTube and Patreon. It just, so this girl's Instagram famous and she has a stalker and i think the stalker wants to kill her and it's really scary and it's all the things that as somebody who's involved in social media fears all the things in the back of your mind that you're scared of are happening to her and her family and her little girl oh my gosh i can't i don't even know if i should continue reading this book but i'm going to so <laughs> taking a little break Hey guys, it's already almost seven o'clock at night. I don't know where the time went today, but I just did not have the ability to vlog because I really spent a lot of time today in my office getting organized for the upcoming new year, going through clients' files and all of the upcoming tasks and things that I need to do for upcoming trips for people. So it was just a lot of travel agency work today. Ooh, the lighting's really weird, sorry. <laughs> as well as um, some training that I had to do for Universal and things like that. So sorry that there was really nothing exciting to share, but I have some fun stuff planned tomorrow and I will share as much as I can with you then. But now I am going to take a shower and get ready for bed and read and just relax because even though it was a very productive day, it was really busy. So I just need to chill. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it is Friday morning and I am actually headed out. I'm going to be checking out a quaint little bookstore, uh, indie bookshop, it's like in a small town. It's a distance from our house, but it's a good day to take a nice long drive because it's really sunny and nice out. I haven't seen my mom in a while. She went back home. I don't know if I even ever told you guys that because I kind of ended my vlogs right after Christmas and then I took a break and started again this week. But she is back home, so I haven't really been seeing much of her, and for that reason, we're going to be wearing masks in the car and taking all the precautions and things. But we're gonna go to the bookshop together. Emily's going to join in. It's going to be in a separate video, because I am doing like a separate bookstore vlog, like I said the other day. So that part of my day, I will not share. <laughs> but I am going to be headed out, and I will catch up with you guys later. So my bookstore adventure did not go as planned. And now I'm home, I'm just, my toast just popped. I'm just making a bagel with cream cheese and I'm having some coffee for a kind of like late breakfast, early lunch kind of thing because now that I pretty much have my day back and I didn't get to do what I wanted to do, I am going to get some more work done in my office and just tidy up around the house and stuff like that, gearing up for the weekend. I got new food for my bird feeder, but still no birds. I don't know what's going on. And the tree over here always gets lots of birds. So I'm just not sure why they're not taking to this bird feeder. <laughs> so the sweet treat of the day today is 
are these little chocolate chip cookies that Emily made. So they're M&Ms and white chocolate chips. So I'm anxious to try those. And I have been working on editing this room decluttering video. I'm hoping I have it out for you guys this week, Please, but did you edit Madison, that? did you make that? So this is from over the summer. Oh, I was so confused. Yes, so over the summer, me and Madison decided, oh, we're gonna redo Madison's whole room. It's gonna be so much fun. And then the furniture never came in, and then she changed her idea multiple times on the theming of the room. So hopefully, don't, tell, don't say what it is. So we are going to finish that video this weekend, and hopefully you guys will be seeing it in the next video that I post. Can I just tell them, I won't tell them what the theme is, but I'll tell them the themes, the themes that I was going for. Okay. So first, I was doing a beach theme. And then I had the bedding and stuff, and then my friend did the same thing. So that, and I wanted to have a different theme. So then I went, what other theme did I do? Like a disco theme after we beach Oh, theme. disco. Okay, so we went from beach to disco. <laughs> so I, I was going to do like LED lights and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I changed it because of current events. So, stay <laughs> tuned and you will see the complete renovation and decluttering of Madison's room. As I've been planning trips for clients all week, I am really thinking about my own trip. So I've been looking at the magic bands. Now you have to buy your own magic bands. You don't get them for free anymore, unfortunately, but they have so many cute magic bands. Which one do you guys think I should get? I don't know. They have a really cute... 1971 band this one I think this one's really cute it's on sale too vintage 1970s love the colors I don't know we'll see I just unpacked all of my vintage Mickeys that I got for Christmas let me know in the comments below if you guys have any interest in seeing my vintage Disney things that I have that I received over the years, mostly Mickey Mouse stuff, but I have other things too. I don't know, maybe it would be interesting to Disney fans. Look at this old block, is that crazy? It's so old. So anyway, I am not going to put this stuff away yet because I might put it on my bookshelf. I hope I'm working on my bookshelf this weekend, so I might be able to find a place for these guys over there. It's kind of dark in here, but I want to try one of these lipsticks out because, oh, it's upside down because <laughs> I didn't get a chance to give it a try yet. So look at how pretty this is. I'm just going to randomly grab one and see how it looks. So this color is Breathing Fire and look at how pretty it is. Isn't that so, so pretty? I love the packaging. All right. They're like little teeny tiny. They're so cute. Uh-huh. This is really red. It goes really good with my red sweater. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna be like experimenting with all of these in the upcoming week. It actually looks much more pink than I thought it would look. It's It looks red when you're looking at the tube of lipstick, but now it looks pretty pink. Like, isn't it like hot pink? I don't know, it might be good for the summer months. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. And I think I'm just going to order a pizza for dinner and call it a night. I am trying to figure out my upcoming content for 2021. I have a lot of ideas, but I kind of need to hone it in because what I want to do is a lot more time consuming than just doing like daily vlogs. And it requires a lot more research and editing and just so much stuff. But I wanted to share a lot more, just maybe Victorian home types of videos with you guys, like giving you very descriptive details about all of the rooms in my house as well as some of the renovations that we've had done over the years i thought that might be something fun and interesting to share but it would mean less content coming out so i don't know you guys will have to share your feelings in the comments below about that and i will see what I am capable of doing because I do want to keep a regular presence over here on YouTube, but I also don't want to overwhelm myself. And I really want to do the Victorian thing, so I don't know. <laughs> My mind is just all over the place, but that's gonna be it for today. Tomorrow will be the last day in this weekly vlog since I started on Sunday, and I will see you guys in the morning.
morning guys I am on my second cup of coffee <laughs> so I did dishes for so long this morning I had to straighten my hair when I was done because the humidity totally made my hair frizz I've never <laughs> can say I've had that experience before I don't remember that ever happening to me but yeah my hair was a frizzy mess just from doing dishes for so long anyway it is Saturday morning and today I am going to be going through my bookshelf and coordinating all of the books that I want to go in our new bookshelf that I received for Christmas. So that is today's game plan. I'll show you guys a little bit as I'm doing it, but I'm not going to make it a whole bookshelf organizational video or whatever because I'm really not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of kind of setting things up and then deciding I don't like it and taking it off and just a lot of that kind of stuff. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to set it up yet. So we shall see, but that is the plan today. And I am going to get to work. So I did a huge like book haul unboxing on my Patreon channel the other night, but this book hadn't come in time and I just received it this morning. So I figured I would open it up with you guys. This is the last book that I have coming for a while. I've been really spending a lot of money on books because I had a lot of gift cards and things for Christmas and of course I spent it all on books. So let's just see what I got from Thrift Books. Okay, The Bookshop. I don't know if I said this to you guys before but I've been kind of obsessed with books about bookshop owners and people who just own bookshops and that is what this book is about. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Let's see what condition this book is in. I usually am very lucky with Thrift Books and the condition of their books. And this one is really in great condition. The only thing I don't like is the sticker sometimes ruin the book itself. So let's see if I can get this off easily. Also, these Dashing Diva nails are doing okay. I had this one nail kept peeling on the tip, so I kept filing it down. So now like this nail is just a little nub. <laughs> But other than that, the rest seem to be holding up good. But doing this kind of a thing, like picking at things, is not beneficial to nail strips. But that came off super easy. So I'm gonna add this to my collection. I've been obsessing over this video that I posted on Instagram, both last night and again this morning. I'll let you guys hear it in case you're not following me. But you should go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you're not. This was, first let me just tell you guys, one of my favorite Disney memories. It was our first time staying at the Wilderness Lodge and we had just purchased Madison this Rapunzel doll. She was obsessed with Rapunzel at the time, so you, you'll be able to see she's like brushing Rapunzel's hair, and you guys just need to listen to this. Madison, what do you want to be when you grow up? Mickey Mouse. You want to be Mickey Mouse? Cool. <laughs> Madison, what do you want to be when you grow Without up? Without hesitation, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. I you love it. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. I literally watched this probably a hundred times. <laughs> just this morning alone it makes me so happy and look at how cute madison is oh my gosh i can't even i miss those days and i miss disney so much so i'm bringing the books down one box at a time I'm starting with all of my jane austen classics and just some other book collections that i have that are in and around that period the brontes things like that all right so just thought i would give you guys an update where i'm at so far I think the shelf came out really nice, all of my Jane Austen and Bronte books. And then I'm starting to find some of my older books to display like here at eye level that I think are really pretty, like Flower Fables by Louisa May Alcott and this really beautiful holiday book. This is probably one of my oldest, it's so old. And just some other random vintage books that I have. And I have another box over here. These are more Louisa May Alcott books and then my Nancy Drew books. So my dilemma now is do I want to bring my vintage Disney books down here or do I want to keep them in my office since my office is Disney themed? So we shall see. Okay, so I have been working really hard on this bookshelf and I'm almost done. I have one more shelf to go. So I'm gonna show you guys how I have made out thus far, but it makes me so happy. <laughs> it's so pretty. All right, let me show you guys. 
So the top shelf is the last one that I need to do, but over here we have some vintage Disney books, my wonderful world of knowledge, like encyclopedia collection, as well as some of the old fashioned Mickey Mouses that my dad gave to me for Christmas. Down here I have some Louisa May Alcott books and just some other random older books that I had in my collection. And then over here are the Jane Austen and Bronte books. And then on the very bottom shelf, I have all of my Victorian home books. So it's all just about Victorian houses and architecture and decor and all kinds of just interior decorating things that have to do with Victorian homes. So I've collected a lot of those over the years. And then I have these vintage leather gloves and just a couple of little antique knickknacks laying around. So now I'm going to get started on the very, very top shelf. Okay, here it is. I feel like maybe I should open all of the glass so you guys can get a better view because there's some glare on it. So let me do that so you can get a better look at it. But here it is with all of the glass closed. Here it is open. So I feel like you can see it way better without the glare on the glass. But look at how pretty this is. I am so excited. I think it came out really good. I have a nice combination of old books as well as some antiques on display. And I just think it looks really, really pretty. So that was a fun project to do today. <laughs> now I have to reorganize my bookshelf upstairs because there is obviously a lot missing now. But I love that I have more space and I just love the way that this looks. Madison just made brownies, but first I'm going to heat up some leftover pizza from last night. We actually ordered a lot of pizza, so we have more than a full pie. So I'm going to heat some of that up, and then we're going to have some brownies. And that's going to be our very, not very healthy, <laughs> Saturday afternoon lunch. Pizza is ready. My new favorite is, I always like ziti pizza, but this is penne and vodka pizza. And it is so good. Okay, this part is not going as well as the downstairs bookshelf went. I keep moving things around, but then I just still feel like it's too overwhelming and messy looking. So I don't know what to do because also like this whole area here is the backdrop of my video. So you can see pretty much all of this right here. So I'm trying to make that the most interesting to look at. And I just feel like it looks very cluttered. So. This is taking forever because I keep moving things around multiple times. It's already after four o'clock at night and I think I'm done here. <laughs> it's just, I'm going to be tweaking it, I'm sure over the upcoming weeks, but I'll show you where I'm at now. And that is pretty much the only thing that I did today. I was just organizing and doing the books all day long, but that's okay because that's what I intended on doing today. But now I need to take a little break <laughs> because it's a lot of work. So I'm going to read for a little while and just relax. So before it gets too dark in here because the sun is going down, this is what the shelves look like now. And honestly, it doesn't really look like I moved any books out of here. <laughs> like I feel like it still looks like a lot of books. But the organization is good. I understand where everything is. I love using the snow globes as bookends. So that worked out really, really well. And I, I think it's all good. This is my favorite. I love the way my new bell figurine looks here with some old books that I did keep on this shelf, really just for that purpose, because I think it looks so pretty like that. And that is going to be it for my book organization project today. Okay guys, that is going to do it for the first vlog of 2021. I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did. It was a lot of fun having you guys along with me on my first week of the year. It was a busy week, had a lot going on, and I would really appreciate it if you guys would let me know in the comments below what type of content you're looking forward to seeing this year because I am going to not make as many videos as I normally do. Like trying to do three or more videos a week is getting to be a little bit much and I'm realizing that I'm kind of spending more time recording all of the moments rather than being present for them with my family, if that makes any sense to you guys. I'm always just, I love sharing, I really do, <laughs> obviously, but also I wanna make sure that I have enough of myself 
to share with my family and not to always be so worried about constantly recording and uploading and editing and taking away from family time because that is definitely still the priority in my life. So just wanna make sure, especially with everything going on now, that I am available to my family as much as they need me, which is a lot lately. <laughs> I'm sure you guys feel it too. You're all going through the same thing and it's just, it's been a lot this year, or I should say this past year. Hopefully 2021 is going to be so much better. I'm looking forward to things getting back to some type of normalcy really soon. So fingers crossed, let's hope we're on our way there, right? All right guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you really soon. Take care, bye.